So we'll fit the new touch sensor unit into my touch light or touch lamp. So we've got to get the old one out first. Raining outside. So these um, little crimps that are supposed to join the wires together, you'll see I've got bits of black tape on there because I've already had a look at this. This was covered with heat shrink um, tubing and as soon as I removed the heat shrink tubing one of the crimps fell off straight away and then as I was separating out the pieces The second crimp fell off, so that third one is the only one that's actually stayed in place. So pretty poor construction. I put bits of tape over there just so I could retest this unit, but it doesn't work. So I'll take it apart. Obviously, I haven't got it plugged into anything. Otherwise, I would currently be electrocuting myself. Right, so this is the only one that's not coming off. I wonder if we can loosen it. There we go. So, what I haven't done is made a note of the colours, because the replacement is a different colour scheme. This one is what I'd call UK colour scheme because it's got blue and brown in it. Whereas the replacement is, I suppose, international. We got red and black and white. So I've had a look online to see if we can find a wiring diagram. And I would say how many combinations can you make out of four colours? Because I've found at least that many different wiring diagrams. In the end, I've drawn up my own. So in the UK, we will have brown and blue coming in from the plug. We've got a bulb that we need to light. And this unit has got white, red, black and yellow. Yellow, there's not a problem. Yellow is the one that goes to the metal um, housing, and that's the one that we touch. But when we look at the diagrams, I might even put some of them in the video. Sometimes we have the blue going to the red, and sometimes we have the blue going to the black. Sometimes the bulb is across the white and the red, and sometimes the bulb is shown across the white and the black. What I might do afterwards is, once I've done it and seen if it works, I might just cut this heat shrink off here so we can have a look at it, because I don't intend to use this long term. A quick rewind, because I started doing the wiring before I put the yellow wire in place. And you've got to have that yellow wire up on the metal chassis first, because it's got to slide over those two wires. So if I connect any of those up, I can't get the yellow in place, so we've gone backwards a step. Yellow wire in place, I'll tighten it up later. Next, we want... If we've done the yellow, we'll do the black wire next. It's going to go to the blue of my plug. So black to blue. Now I know some electricians don't like you twisting the wires together, and some do. Next we want the brown of the power, or the plug, going to the red of the sensor, and 
to one leg of the light bulb. So I'm going to use the brown leg of the light bulb to the brown leg of the power and the red of the sensor or the switch unit, what well, a sensor it is. And then finally we've got the white wire from the sensor that's going to go to the other leg of the light bulb. Now, I don't want to reuse these, so I'm going to use one of these, what I call chocolate blocks, electrical connectors. I need a screwdriver. I'm going to put them all in from the same side. So there we are, that's wired up, we need to tighten this up. So that should now work. Obviously we should put the cover back on the bottom and strap that up out the way and trim that off. But for demonstration purposes, we'll leave it exactly as it is. Power on. Nothing. Okay, so, failure. So the next question is, if that diagram didn't work that way round, as I said, they're all um, different. Every one I've looked at, one of the other ones connects the light bulb across the white and the black, instead of the white and the red. So I'll try that. Right, I've swapped it over. So we've now got the light bulb across the white and the black instead of the white and the red. And you might be able to see it's on. So we've got three position. So I'll redraw my diagram. So 
So we're now blue coming in, black, that's black. Brown is going to red. So that's the one that works with that particular module. So what I need to do now is tidy that up, strap it all up out the way and put the bottom back on. There'll be a link in the video description um, giving the name or the item description of this sensor unit, but I don't give the eBay links anymore. I leave you to type in the description and you'll find hundreds of listings and you can choose your own cheapest or whatever. Just remembered I promised I'd open this up so we can see what's inside. Right. Well, this is different to the inside of the box one. Because it's got one of those little black blob controller chips in it. MAC nine seven A six zero eight H six. Hmm, okay. So we'll have a quick look inside this one, see what we can see in there. Well that's got a black blob chip in it. What's that one? 20607. That looks like A3. I can't quite make out the last. Could be A38. It's a bit more substantial this, isn't it? Got thicker wire. Nice big capacitor there. So the most likely thing to have failed, if anything's failed on this one, is either that or the black blob.